Saints fans, we are this close to getting to a, a thousand subscribers here on our Saints channel. Help us get there. And in exchange, you guys will get free videos on everything going on around the New Orleans Saints, including the Breaking Bradley Roby trade. Breaking news involving the Houston Texans and the New Orleans Saints as cornerback Bradley Roby has been traded, the Texans giving him up, and the Saints acquiring a player to help fill one of their bigger needs left on their roster, that is at the cornerback position. This is not a, a unusual trade of a bad team trading a corner to a potential contender. The timing, though, is at least a little bit intriguing. This move comes on the eve of the 2021 NFL season, days away from the Texans and Saints playing in their first game of this season. In terms of what the Texans are getting back, well, as we film this, we actually don't know yet. The Texans have made multiple trades already this, I'll call it preseason still technically, involving corners. My suspicion, probably a day three pick of some type going back to the Houston Texans. The Saints acquiring a cornerback, a former first round pick who is on the wrong side of 30 now. So who do you think won this trade? Get your votes in for me in the comments section. Type in T for the Texans, or you can type in S for the Saints. Now we'll break this down for both sides, the Saints and the Texans. For starters, the reasoning why the timing's going down now, the Saints are not going to have Bradley Roby for week one. The Texans weren't going to either because he is suspended for the first game of the 2021 NFL season due to a previous suspension for performance-enhancing drugs. So no Roby this week, but he'll be back the rest of the season. Now, Roby is owed just over $9.2 million for the rest of this season. The Texans save that amount against their salary cap this year. The Saints take that on. Now, this deal has not yet been finalized, but it's pretty close, and it's already been reported it's going to be finalized. My suspicion is that the Saints will try to restructure Roby's contract. Could be as simple as take his base salary, spread it out over the next couple of years, and then make it into a signing bonus and save some short-term salary cap, or maybe even add some dead years onto that deal. Or maybe they extend Roby and keep it all down and push that money into the future, as the Saints so often do. In fact, they do it better than any team in the NFL. Roby, meanwhile provides a significant boost at the cornerback position to a team that was certainly in the market for it. Again, only 10 games played last year. Roby allowed a 64.4% completion rate. Not bad. The yards are actually very low, 227. A little bit high on the touchdowns allowed, three, but he had one interception, seven pass breakups. Roby is not a premier number one corner at this point in his NFL career. That's the good news. He doesn't have to be for the New Orleans Saints. That's Marshawn Latimer's role. He is one of the premier corners in the NFL as far as I'm concerned. You can put Chauncey Gardner-Johnson in the nickel, which I still think the Saints will end up doing. They had just signed Desmond Trufant. They have a third round pick out of Stanford and Paulson Adebo. Brian Poole, unfortunately, is on IR, but the addition of Roby really stabilizes what was starting to look like a potential concern area for the New Orleans Saints. They don't have him week one, but they've got him for the rest of the season. The Texans, meanwhile, continue their trend of being involved in trades, no, most notably at the cornerback position. The Texans have been adding a ton of day three draft picks. Unfortunately for Houston, in the short term, this cornerback room is not very good. Vernon Hargraves, former first round pick, has not lived up to the hype. Terrence Mitchell's fine, but I like him more as a number three or number four than shoot, arguably the best corner on this roster right now. I like Desmond King quite a bit and Jimmy Moreland. I like those as two nickel options once Moreland's fully healthy. Tremont Smith, Tavier Thomas, it's not a good cornerback room for Houston. That's okay. They are rebuilding after all. Winning right now isn't their number one concern. We'll see exactly what draft pick they got back from the New Orleans Saints, but it helps them in, in the long run. 
adding draft capital to rebuild a roster that very much needs it.